what is a mobile substation is it a substation that you can control with the help of a mobile phone hey google turn on the transformer bay okay turning on the transformer bay in this video we will be talking about mobile substation and what are the application for them also we will discuss this interesting example of mobile substation in the end so make sure you watch the video till the end after the generation of electricity it is necessary that the electricity is transmitted and then distributed to the end consumer because the ultimate aim of electricity is to get consumed and that's why power system transmission and distribution network were built and substation plays a very crucial role in both transmission and distribution network we discussed about the different functions of a substation uh, in this video now what if any of the substation in the network goes off it's a big problem let's consider one example just for understanding purpose i'm saying i'm saying this hypothetically consider this is one power system wherein we are generating electricity at 11 kv then there is a step up substation which is stepping up it to 420 kv and then the transmission is happening and then we are stepping it down to 430 volts in a step down substation and then delivering power to the end consumer now let's say this step up substation is gone off for some reason now there can be multiple reason why a substation goes off some issues can be controlled by the utility who owns the substation and some issues are not within the control of the utility for example if a circuit breaker in a substation is malfunctioning and causing the interruption in the supply this issue is under the control of the utility and to solve it they can replace that faulty breaker with a new circuit breaker which is available as a spare and the issue is resolved but let's say there is an earthquake or lightning strike or maybe a flood situation now these are the situation which is beyond the control of the utility utility can't do anything if there is an earthquake or a complete substation shutdown is also required if a substation a, if some big maintenance needs to be done and these are some of the reasons why a substation goes off so let's say this substation is gone off because there is a flood situation and this will cause complete blackout of the system no one is getting electricity this is a huge loss of money not only money but many other things that are dependent on the electricity now i need not to tell you the importance of electricity in today's world we all know it now if the flood situation remains for a month then there won't be any electricity for a complete month or let's say this substation needs a maintenance and it will take around 2 months to complete the whole maintenance activity of complete substation so what do we do for 2 months there won't be any electricity available for 2 months and that's where mobile substations can help in bridging the gap caused by the different events that we just saw first of all let us understand or let's get clarity on the meaning of the word mobile whenever we say word mobile what comes to our mind is this mobile device that we can use on regular basis but the meaning of mobile is not simply the phone if you look at the simplest meaning of the word mobile it means anything that can be moved from one place to another easily anything that offers a greater flexibility and can be moved from one place to another very easily that is called as mobile so when we add word mobile with substation then does it mean it can be controlled by a mobile device no it does not mean that it cannot be controlled by a mobile device mobile substation means a substation that can be moved easily from one place to another place mobile substation is a self contained and an autonomous system which is mounted on a trailer or container equipped with necessary high and medium voltage components of a full substation and that includes power transformer switch gear and disconnect switches metering transformer surge arrester protection and control equipment ac and dc auxiliary powers and control system so basically 
all the things that you see in an outdoor substation or an indoor GIS substation, all of it is also available in case of mobile substation. The biggest difference is that this mobile substation can be moved from one place to another very easily. And by the way, if you are interested in knowing the functions of all the different equipment used in a substation, then you can refer this video. I'll also provide link for this video down in the description. You can go and check it out for more details. So going back to our example where our step up substation went off because we need to do a maintenance which will last for around two months. So instead of keeping the supply off for two months and incurring losses, what I can do is I can get a mobile substation and then I'll bypass the substation that is under maintenance and give the supply via the mobile substation and then continue with the supply. In this way, I am not having losses. My main substation is under maintenance, but still the supply continuity is there and I'm still getting the tariff charges. And use of this mobile substation has provided many advantages to me instead of building a new substation. I need not to do any civil work in the substation. It also reduced the maintenance cost since it is enclosed in a container. I need not to do frequent maintenance on it. Plus, it also offers me maximum mobility and flexibility. I can take this trailer uh, to another site where I have to carry out the maintenance and bypass that particular substation. Also, it did not take much time to get installed and then commission the substation. Now, these mobile substations are meant for a quick operation. So it's kind of a plug and play type substation. Also, the space requirement is very minimal. It is completely factory assembled and tested. So I need not to do any assembly at site or do any testing. Now, the question is, do these mobile substation uses any special type of switchgear technology? Well, the answer is no, they do not. The technologies that we have seen in the previous video, that is air insulated switchgear AIS or gas insulated switchgear GIS or hybrid type of switchgear, that is mixed technology switchgear. These are the only technology that is used in these mobile substations as well. And if you're interested in knowing about this technology, then I'll give link for that particular videos down in the description. You can go and check out for more details. Now this mobile substation can be trailer mounted like this, or it can be mounted in a prefabricated buildings like this. Now let's talk about some of the application of mobile substation. So the first application we just saw in our example, so temporary supply during period of main substation refurbishment, upgrade or plant maintenance. So let's say uh, if I have to upgrade my substation and for that I'll need to turn off the substation during that period, I can use this mobile substation and bypass the current substation. Then also situations like earthquake floods or lightning strikes, if anything hits like that, uh, then I can use the mobile substation to give the temporary supply. Now temporary supply for seasonal loads and events. So this is again a very useful application for mobile substations. So let's say in the city there is a big event plan, let's say a FIFA World Cup. Now you will need a lot power for that. And to serve that purpose, I can use one of the mobile substation, which will help me transmit the additional power. And then uh, it can also be used for remote environment. So let's say uh, a, a mining is happening at a very remote place. There is no supply. In that case, uh, this mobile substation can be used. Now, this is a very good solution because in remote application, I do not need to set any permanent substation. I do not need to procure land, do civil work or anything. I can just get the mobile substation and give the supply uh, wherever required. Now let's look at this example of a mobile substation. So what is happening here is you can see this mobile substation right here. It's a 420 kV substation. So basically it is accepting the incoming voltage as 420 kV. Then after this mobile substation, you can see there is a three phase transformer here place. 
this transformer again it's a uh, you know mobile substation part of mobile substation only it is stepping down that 420 kV to 145 kV and after that you can see this substation right here is a 145 kV GIS substation mobile GIS substation and then it further going the inputs to the MV and LV uh, panels here on the right hand side you can see they are maintaining all the control circuitries right here now what is the purpose of this mobile substation now this was built so that in case of an emergency the main substation can be shut down and that can be bypassed via this substation and still maintain the continuity of the supply now take a note that all the utilities will try hard so that their substation don't goes off but there are some situations which are beyond the control of the utility that we have seen already like flood earthquake or lightning strikes anything else that is beyond the control of utility and in that case such arrangement of mobile substations are very very useful this helps to maintain the supply continuity this helps so that the electricity still can be transmitted right so this is the example of a mobile gis substation do check out my website courses.dielectricalguide.in for the easiest courses that I have created for electrical engineering students. Definitely it will help you out. Also if you found the video helpful, do like the video and do share it with the electrical engineers you know. That really helps the channel to grow further and I really really appreciate your support on that. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you in my next one with another interesting videos but till then make sure you keep watching and keep learning.